the easy thing to do is rim the puck. And I'm not saying that we don't use that because it is an effective break on. If you want to bypass the forecheck, it's a great break on. It's a great thing to use, the rim. But it's uh, oftentimes it's used because they don't want to read, they don't want to see options, and they don't want to have the confidence or the courage to make a play. Second short story I want to tell you when I came to Vancouver with Mark Crawford in our first year here, I remember we were in San Jose, and I came down uh, to get a coffee in the morning. It was early in the morning, it was about 8 or 8.15, and Alex McGillney was here. And for the people from BC here, you remember when Alex played here? So Alex was down there, and he said, hey, Mike, can I, can I buy you a coffee? I said, sure. So I went over. I, I was new to the team, and I wanted to get to know some of the players. So he came over, he bought me a coffee, we sat down. I said to him, it was kind of bothering me as all coaches, you carry the game with you from the night before and it sticks with you. So I, I said to Alex, I said, Alex, how do you think you played last night? And he said, Mike, well, to be honest, he said, I wasn't very good. I said, I didn't think our team was good, but I wasn't very good at all. I said, well, what happens? I said, sometimes I watch you play, and like, and you know, the people from here that watch Alex play when he was here, Sometimes your play's like way up here, and you're into the game, and you're jumping, and you're going. And sometimes you're down here. And I'll never forget it. And it Im impacted our team in Vancouver going forward. Because he said to me, he said, Mike, I'll tell you what. When I come back in the zone, and I come back, and I show the defense my stick, and I'm ready for a pass, and they rim the puck so hard that I can't handle it, or they shoot the puck off the glass, and I'm ducking to try and get out of the way of the puck, he says, you know, what am I supposed to do? And then I get into the neutral zone, and I break for holes, I try and work, I try and get open, I try and get available, and they shoot the puck in. He says, hey, you know, look at me. I'm not a big guy. I can't afford you. I'm not good at fortune. I'm not good at playing physical. But you give me the puck, and then I can make things happen. And, and, and as a coach, your natural tendency is to get pissed off and say, hey, hey, come on now. I'm the coach here, and this is the way we do things. But it, it stuck with me because you look at our team in Vancouver in those days, we had, you know, Nazan, and then we had Morrison, and we had Bertuzzi. Uh, we had a fairly skilled defense. We added the Sedins the next year after that. And I was thinking that these guys need the puck. And it's the same as going back to the Camero story, that they need the puck on their stick. And so what Alex was essentially saying is that when he works hard, is when people give him the puck so that he has the opportunity to use what he, he's best at. And that's skating, jumping into holes, accelerating, coming with speed, attacking with speed, and going after people. That's what he was saying. He wasn't saying he didn't want to work hard. He was saying that, hey, you've got to get them to at least give me the puck. So I, at the end of the conversation, I, I told him, I said, hey, I'm going to look at it. I'm going to, we're going to work on it. We'll try and get you the puck more, but you've got to make sure that when we, we do it or we try to do it, that you're working on people all the time.